Hello. Um, looks like the winter weather has hit um, Kentucky and I hope everybody's staying warm and hopefully the sun will keep shining. Um, and, but with that, I mean, we have had a great calendar so far this year. Uh, we've only had one winter weather day. Uh, so, you know, what that tells me is we're still looking at getting out of school that week of May the 18th. Uh, currently, we are going to have an early release day on this Friday and our teachers are going to be working hard the rest of the day, getting ready for the kids to come back. Um, we will have President's Day as a break, and unless we have some unfortunate weather. I'm not trying to jinx anybody or anything like that. But you know, we'll, we'll have three weeks and then we'll have that three day week. And then after President's uh, Day, when we come back, we'll have six full weeks of instruction. I know that gets a little bit long. And then we're gonna have a full week of spring break, that very first week, first full week in April. When we return from spring break, uh, we'll only have five full weeks of class. And within that time frame, you know, lots of testing, lots of activities, uh, end of the year kind of activities. So, you know, it's just amazing how quick that time goes by. It's, it's just kind of amazing that it's already the middle of January in 2020. Our calendar for next year has been adopted. And so you can find that online. Uh, very similar to this year's calendar. So um, hopefully we're going to have good weather. We're going to get out of school at a good time. Uh, you can go ahead, you know, we've not set a date for graduation. It's a little bit premature for that, but hopefully, you know, it's going to be a, a great second semester, especially with the weather. Uh, another item I wanted to share with you is the stop tip line. Um, you probably are aware, but just want to remind you that we have an anonymous way of reporting um, any kind of safety issue in our schools. If you go to our website, it's one of the top icons, and when you hit that icon, um, it's going to pop up, and what you're going to see that looks a little bit different in the event that you've ever used this before is it is now hosted by Homeland Security. Uh, in the past, it was actually hosted by the Kentucky Center for School Safety that's transferred over. Same great opportunity uh, in the event that a student or an adult wants to report any kind of safety issue or a bullying issue, uh, then you have that opportunity. You are required to put in the county and the school, but no one's name is available. And what that does is that, that will give us the opportunity to investigate and address any concerns that is shared through this anonymous tip line. And the last thing I wanted to share is some good news. Uh, for any parent or any adult out there who maybe did not have the opportunity to finish their high school diploma, uh, the governor just signed into law that the GED fee to take the exam has been waived. And Marion County Public School has one of the top uh, adult education programs in Kentucky. We're located on Harrison Street in the Community Ed Building, which is located near both government buildings. Um, they provide a, a wonderful service there. Uh, you can work on GED. You can work on future certifications for our local business and industry. And they even provide tape testing. Uh, they actually have a whole lot of services down there. And so, you know, if that's something you've been thinking about and you're interested in the adult, the adult GED, or if you know someone that would really love that opportunity, we have classes, we have materials, we have teachers, there will be no fee associated with that, and we would love to help you as an adult further your career right here in Marion County. Hope everyone has a great day, try to stay warm, and let's hope for lots of sunshine.